Hi. Just in case you don't recognize me with all this gray hair, I'm Eleanor Burns. I just wanted to remind you. You know, for years, my students have asked me, Elle, what is the one quilt that you would like to make? And I have always answered, the feathered star. Well, in 2014, I wrote my book, all star quilts and right in the center, a beautiful feathered star. And here it is right here in all of its glory. Nice big pieces. It is beautiful. And it's just a little bit of a challenge to cut all of those pieces and get everything pressed right and sewn together. So now, eight years later, AccuQuilt does a die on the feathered star. It's just beautiful. This is a 16 inch star, just simple to do. I'm gonna show you all about it, but it's a die right now. You can get it. This is what the die looks like. It's one of those big old bob blocks. This, that means block on board. That means underneath every one of these pieces of fabric is the die and you're going to see it as soon as I cut it. But it's all arranged so that every piece you need to make one block is all on this board. So let's just get the machine going. This is that big die and you need to cover it with a mat like this. Make sure you're totally covered. Okay, let's give it a push. And once it catches, it just goes through and you can just stand here and dance a little bit while it goes along. Watch it, too much fun. Think about it cutting all those pieces for one feathered star. So now once it's through, my favorite thing to do with this die is to just put my hand on it and give it a little twist. I don't like to have everything kind of fall apart. Oh, it's going, it's going. I'm sliding it off moving it around and then just continue sliding perfect so you can see all of those pieces now i'm just going to bring it over to this edge and take a look at it so just take your pieces and my favorite thing is to just put your hands on top of the center piece just pull this off and get rid of it and you see underneath this is for the A part. I'm going to turn it so it's right side up so you can read the letters too. And underneath, there's more. Look at this. Just take these, get rid of them. These pieces are F. So what I recommend is that you just take your die to the table right where you're going to sew. Leave these pieces right in place so as you need them, you can peel them off read which one they are, this is B, or this is another favorite thing that Teresa did for me. She cut all the pieces and so I wouldn't be confused. She put them each in its own plastic bag, put marked right on it what's inside. And I go, okay, I can do this. Let's just look here, more triangles. Is that not perfect? Just get rid of it and so on and so on. So let me just finish pulling these away and I'll get started. So my die is cleared off now. You can take a look at all of the different pieces, especially if you're going to make several of these blocks, it helps to remember the color. So if you just put a dot right on each die, this is definitely going to be the dark blue. So you'll always remember over here are the lights, the lights. And then these are the medium blues here. And so once you get that all organized, everything goes so much quicker. So I just want to show you what I'm doing. This feathered star is just like every other star. It starts out with a square right in the center. So that's the A. You don't have to remember all these names, but basically then they have the points. Okay, so you remember every star is going to have eight points, right? So you can just picture this if you just lay out those eight points here. Just 
fun. And this is D, just in case. Whoops, let's turn it like that. And I need two more over here. And that will just get that whole star going. It's kind of hard to visualize while you're making all your parts. Okay, that's good. Now, off of the tips of each one of the diamonds, off of the little points here, are diamonds. And that's the start of that feather you've got going here. More dark, and you've got those all cut. Look how nice they are. You couldn't do this with scissors, huh? Nice and straight around the outside. I have different colors here, but it's okay. I'm just showing you. These are the Fs. Okay, we're looking like a feathered star already. Now, you're going to switch into the medium colors. And let's just have a couple of those. And those are going to go right in here like that. That's the start of it. The amazing thing is that all that's left is the half square triangles. This is enough for one whole star. And you can see this is easy. This is the G's. It's just a light and a medium G. Right sides together, sew it down. See, you've got all these nice little curved edges. Just press the seam towards the dark side. Believe it or not, all you're going to do is just attach these to the triangles and the diamonds, and that's what makes up your feathered star. So take a look over here. This is the corner right here with the light. You can see the diamond and the half square. Whoop! The triangle's right there. Here's the top part here. And the same thing on the opposite end. Just little pieces you have to sew together until you get it all. And now we're just going to take and do the magic. That's what I love, the magic. You're making two of them. And then you're just going to go ahead, flip those out like so. Whoops, I've cut a couple of them here. Boy, I am on the go. And then really, all I need is the center right in the middle. And you're on your way to finishing the feathered star.